Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Sword of the Stars, The Pit Mind Games. In our last episode, we went through a new biome floor over on this side and wiped out a whole ton of animals, killed some cows, killed some nasty things, shook some trees, got some food, and generally came out of it... <laughs> Hard to say if we say ahead or just in the same place. We got lots of food, though, which should allow us to rest ourselves up to full health quite nicely in the future for at least some time, and that will kind of pay for the rest, hopefully. Now, things like our saw, we're getting pretty low durability, so we're going to switch to our lightning blade as our main melee weapon now. Our lightning spear has been an interesting experiment, but since it does use up valuable energy cells, it's hard to say if we really want to be relying on it at the time being. But... That's okay. We also have the scale skins we need. All we need now is nanowire to potentially be able to make new kinds of fancy armor. So we'll have to try and see if we can manage that. And we also have the chitin we need to potentially be able to make chitin armor if we can find some other bits for that as well. So we'll see what we can do, because there's a lot of potential things that could help us out. We did already clear out this room at the start of last episode, when we were testing to see which of these rooms was in fact our uh, biome floor. So we have a little bit of a head start on here, but only a very small amount. Oh, hello Lamprey Hawks. Let's kill you off. We still have the star equipped, interestingly enough, so I'll use that for now. But we're going to switch out as soon as this guy's dead. There we go. Now we can switch back to our lightning blade as our primary weapon of choice. Okay. Open up the rest of these doors, might as well, for the experience. This one is going to be a little bit harder to open, of course, because it is one of the locked doors with a special key code. But the phase gloves make all doors a lot easier for us to manage. Come over here and murder off the Computotron unit. I think these guys look hilarious. Of all the new enemies added into the game, these guys look the funniest, I think. Activate our resistance to fear before he manages to hit us, thankfully. Mind wolves are nasty creatures, but not so dangerous once you can block them. And kill off the clone workers if we can. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked too early there. That was unfortunate. I could have been able to hit both of them. We are taking a bunch of damage here. Thankfully, these guys should both die next attack. There we go. I do not want that key, so I'm be very careful about that. We're going to charge this guy. He's going to burn out this toolkit before we get a chance to open it, but I'm okay with that. We're going to start stunning and attacking him this way. Nice and close. We'll give him a harder time to do anything. There we go. The fire isn't so dangerous, but the fact that it destroys things in the room is pretty bad, which is why I'm trying to make sure he only attacks the same things he was attacking previously. Fuel cells. Hiver cheese is definitely worth picking up. Hmm. We took a lot of damage there, though. Seriously. Ouch. Um, what do we want to move through here? How do we want to handle this? We've got a lot of stuff we don't necessarily need, especially some of these uh, food items. I should probably just increase weapon durability on something. I'll stick that in the SAR, maybe, since it's getting pretty low. It's always good to have multiple melee weapons. That should jump it up to, like, 70 durability again. Oh, no, only 48. They must have fixed that glitch in the DLC. Where originally, if you put a durability booster and you had already repaired the thing, it would jump up based on the maximum durability, not on the current durability. But that appears to have been fixed. There we go. Or did it? 50% would not be 48. I don't, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we have health back in the SAR now, so we can use that if we need it. Now, we will grab the Hiver Cheese, because that is useful for making uh, hero sausages with. We can open up the armor locker here and see what's inside. Anything useful? A pocket dock is actually a nice little item for the uh, the scout, because the scout has a hard time aiming, uh, or rather, r succeeding in healing tasks. So by having that pocket dock, you have a much higher chance at succeeding when you need to. Make some more cooked meats here. We're going to be doing a bunch of cooking for the time being to get some stuff out of our inventory space, because we can make another hero sot switch, which will clear up another space for us as well. There we go, hero sot switch. What else can we cook up? We could make some base paste again. I quite like being able to do that, since we can't make bacon right now. Anyway, the base paste is a nice resistance to adaptoids who manage, or not adaptoids, proteans who manage to sneak up on you. There we go. And now we can grab the pocket dock safely. We can try and interact with the pocket, or rather the, uh, I keep calling them pocket tesseracts, with the tesseract well, but I'm not entirely sure if we necessarily want to. We can, we can hopefully succeed, though, so we'll try it anyway and see what happens. There we go. It's repaired. Can we successfully decipher it? I think there's some ammunition and stuff in here. Nothing we really need. Oh, yeah. There's another med kit, which is already low. Our pistol's not broken. It looked like, it looked like it broke, didn't it? We investigate it? I don't... That's weird. I was pretty sure this this backup auto pistol broke when we put it in there. But apparently not. Strange. I'll stick another 50 ammo for shotguns in there, so we don't need that. I will stick uh, some more food in there, maybe. I'll stick one of these stacks of 
food rations. Is there anything else we can stick in there that we don't really need right now? Mm. I don't know. I kind of want to hold on to the rest of our stuff. We'll keep this stuff for now. They can have those things and we'll keep going. There we go. So, interesting. Let's go down more, I guess. We'll do the... Uh, right to left approach this time. There is a cryoid. Cryoids are one of the few enemies in the game that can give you the cold effect along with yetis that I've encountered so far anyway. Apparently what cold does is it causes any hit you take to do armor damage, but since we're not wearing armor, it doesn't do much to us at all. We can safely attack these guys with no real fears. Now this guy, the cider, could be a bit of a problem, especially since our health is so low. So I'm actually going to take a tap of our uh, Tarkin Field Surgery kit here, and we're going to shoot this guy before he gets close enough to do much to us. He's trying to paralyze... Oh, didn't mean to do that. He's trying to paralyze us, which is not good. Thankfully, the... Uh, Magneto's helmet gives us some resistance to that. And he's dead. Excellent. That could have been much worse. Alright, medical locker, do you have anything good for us? Hopefully you do. You have damper patches. I'll stick that in our inventory since we have a couple already. It sounds like there's angry robots coming to kill me though, and I'm not cool with that. They're probably gonna swing around the corner anytime now. There's some more Kozanti Brie. Do we actually have Kozanti Brie in our inventory? No, but we have some space for it now. I'm gonna come up and grab the other one I left behind from here with a careful control G, because I do not want that floor key. In case you're not sure why I don't want the floor keys, floor keys automatically unlock all the doors on the floor. Which would not necessarily be a problem, except for the fact that it means you can't get the experience from them by unlocking them manually. Also, this is an interesting looking room. It's a really, really big... Uh oh or, no, That's not so bad, actually. Cyber Brawls always scare me because of the early game danger, but really they're not that dangerous after that. But, uh... There's potential for a lot of computer consoles in here, since it's so large. But the fact that we don't see any is not a great indicator of that. We're going to keep trying to murder this bear, and then we can move in and take a look at what we've actually found in there, which would be quite nice, in my opinion. There we go. He's dead. Let's go take a look. Get that lightning blade ready. Now, is there no consoles in here? Okay, there's one. We have to kill the librarian, though. Librarians are nasty. The, the toxins they can emit are quite bad, and they have a chance of stunning you from a quite large area. And he's dead. Excellent. We have a Leer Edupet. These things are cool. As the description says, it's a small bioorganism designed to enter through the sinus cavity and wrap around the brainstem, teaching a skill directly into the brain of the user. Very effective, but with possible adverse effects for non-Leer users. So it can actually give you a huge boost to a random skill, but there are a variety of also penalties that can come along with it. We're going to try it and see what happens. Empathy increased by 10. Okay, one of our psychic abilities got a huge buff there. That's pretty nice. We might actually be able to start using an empathy-related skill soon then. I think we only have 11 points in or 12 points in it though, so it's hard to say for sure. Empathy is this one. Yes, it is. We need to have 15 to be able to use Life Sense. If we can get that, we might just try it. That nice 10 skill boost is not insignificant. We might try that. Can we get to the data console? Hopefully, yes the only one in here. No, it's ruined. Okay, well, you win some, you lose some. There are a pair of Zool pups down here for some reason. They're just chilling out. That's cool. Hack them up. Get some more meat. Alright, before I try and open this, since it is a, uh, a robo-room, we're actually going to rest up in front of this door. So I will see you again when we're done resting. Well, so much for our plans. We have a, a Zool pup over here who wants to die, so we'll go meet him and give him what he wants. There you go. He's dead. And we're going to go back to resting again. So much for that plan. Here we go. Good enough. Alright, our resting succeeded. Let's see what's in this horrible, horrible play. Oh, right. This is one of the nasty doors. We have to use the lockpick set and the phase gloves to give us any chance of getting through an Ada locked door. Ada doors and Zeta doors are really hard to get through. We'll try one more time. Even if we fail, I'm okay with this. Ugh, man, that's a nasty room. We might have to come back there later and see if we can get in or not. For now, I'm just going to hang out over here and see if we can catch whatever comes to try and do us damage. There they are. So I'm going to come around the corner, let him keep coming. And now we can swing around and lightning blade him pretty easily. There's another one coming too, though, so we're going to get back around the corner and hit him from here. Bullets do a lot of damage to us now that we have no armor, so we have to be kind of careful about these robots because they can drain our health super fast. But really, anything does nasty damage to us now, but I mean... Given that bullets previously were not particularly worrying, now they definitely are. So, got to be a bit more careful. Let's check out this cryo lab, see what's down here. Looks like it's adaptoids. Hello. Or, I keep saying adaptoids. Proteans. Proteans are the ones that I actually am worried about. Adaptoids are bad for jump scares, but they aren't actually that bad. Booby trap this chemical pod, because nothing could possibly go wrong if we get sprayed with chemicals, right? 
There we go. Set the pod to explode. So we're going to get away from the pod so that if it does explode, it doesn't explode on us. Reactivate the charge hub, which should let us get our stuff back operating. Specifically, that cooker, since we used a lot of layers of it earlier. And our digital assistant. Why not? Can we get back out here through the door? These gamma doors are not too bad. Ooh, ooh. Hello. That's nothing too bad. Just a lamprey hawk. We can take it down pretty safely. Turn around and gun him down a bit more. There we go. And lightning blade him for the kill. Perfect. Anything in here? That's the exit. Interesting. Is there anything in this locked pod? Nothing really. And I could activate the rad pod if I want. That's a biopod. Never mind. Definitely activate that. We'll get some potentially good samples out of it. And we got some primordial soups. At least one primordial soup. Can we actually use it, though? That is the question. I'm going to quickly use my cooker here to turn this meat into cooked meat, which will give us an extra slot, meaning I can pick up both of these items. Three primordial soups. Excellent. Can we get into this data console? Please say yes. I don't like failing these. It's always very sad to not get that pieces of data. And again, we failed. Fantastic. Our luck is not on our side today. There's a radiation room here behind an, uh, a beta door. That's not too bad. Hopefully there's nothing actually nasty inside here. Doesn't look like there really is, though, which is interesting. Oh, there it is! <laughs> he says, as there's a giant protein in the room. Okay, well, we can gun him down with the assault rifle quickly now. When we get a bit closer, we'll switch to the scatter gun, which should clear these guys out. Even though the scatter gun is massively ammo inefficient, when you're fighting a selection of large proteans, I think it's probably worthwhile. One more shot should clear him out. There we go. Now we back up again in case this chemical pot explodes, which it probably will. Switch to the scatter gun and gun them down. There it goes. And one more time. Dead proteans. That's what we like to see. All right, we reload. And we reload. <laughs> Lots of reloading to be done. There we go. And we reload. There we go. Okay. Is there anything in this door locker? Please say yes. There is. Ooh, health drain. I know I even picked that up. Uh, where did it go? There it is. All right, destroy you. Do not want any health drain. Thank you very much. I will, however, grab your giant mitochondria and primordial soups, and I'll open up these doors too. Just why not? There we go. Get some experience. We can even use this charging hub to recharge our recently used once uh, cooker. There we go. Okay, this floor has given up pretty good stuff so far. Nothing too amazing, though. No armors. No nano wire either, which we kind of need pretty badly. There's something in here. Oh, just a whole bunch of cyrolls. That's okay. We're going to hit our uh, mind shield anyway, just in case. Ow! And that's why these guys are scary. That, that uh, TK fist is really damaging when you don't have a lot of uh, armor on. We're just going to take some of these med kits right now. Thank you very much. Swing back in here and try and kill these guys off before they can do too many more of those. All right, Lightning Blade you. Back up, Lightning Blade both of them. There we go. You're still alive. Now you're dead. Where's the other one? You still here? I don't know where you went. I'm trying to walk into him so I can see him. There we go. That works too. Get the exotic proteins. Let's check out what's in these recycling bins. Hopefully there's like a whole piece of armor in there. Nope, I'll take the logic circuits though. What about in this one? A whole a whole armor piece? A really nice one? Nope. Molecu molecular neutronium. Now, do we need molecular neutronium for anything? I don't believe we do. We need isotope rods for our uh, adamantium blade if we want to try and upgrade to one of those. And we need... Uh, for the claws, I don't think we need anything like that either. This is the wrong list. I want recipes. There we go. For the adamantium claws. Yeah, we don't need them for those either. Uh, I think all I really know that that's used for is for the heavy ammunition for the heavy slug thrower. It's that. I don't think I've seen anything else there. Hmm. I'm not going to worry about it then. It's a big item as well. We're not going to worry about trying to carry that with us. Let's get out of here. I don't think we've been in this room yet, so we'll check out that one. Then we're pretty much done here. Ooh, bunch of bats. Die, bats. There we go. You radiated bats are not going to give us a problem anymore. Whoa, butts. We're hit with fear again. Thankfully, we cleared out almost all of this floor so we can safely run away, but... Fear! You're the worst effect in this game. Like, I just... I'm forced to run away. But I can't get out the door. You just run to the door and then run back and forth repeatedly. Okay. Okay, now we're free. And I can't use my Psy Shield again, so we're just going to attack this guy, because I know he's here. I tried to walk into the space and it wouldn't let me. He moved over, so we can attack him again. 
following the damage numbers is a good way to catch these guys, because they're generally not the best at avoiding uh, transmitting where they are like that. Thankfully, since he went invisible, that uses up the rest of his psychic ability points, and he can't actually chase me that way. Or rather, can't actually fear me again, is what I was trying to say there. Try and murder off this Hiver. There we go. Got a Vibra Blade out of it. If we were had something less awesome, we probably would take that, but we already have a Sar and a Lightning Blade. No reason to settle for less. Claw up these guys. Now, there are potentially some goodies in here. We'll have to see what we can actually get from them, though. Okay. Murder off the Zoolings. There we go. Claw up some more Zoolings. And is there anything in these lockers? There's one thing in the storage pod. Ooh, casing fragments. Those could be potentially useful. I think they only take up one space now, too, which is nice. They might have only taken up one space before, but I thought they were bigger. Anyway, we're going to go in the recycling bin and see what's in here. We have oh, lighters. Nothing good. Okay. That is pretty much everywhere on this floor cleared out, but I kind of want to go back down and attack that uh, security room, even though it's like heavily locked up and probably a really bad idea. I want to do it anyway. I think we... Do we have any breaching charges? We might have brought some. I don't think we did, though. No. No breaching charges. Okay, we can hack at the door, but this is going to do very little damage. We can do it anyway, and see if we can get through it. It'll take a while, though. But I want to get in here, because there might be armor in there, which is definitely what we need. There are robots in there for sure. No armor from the looks of it, but we'll see. Alright, we're going to come in... I think we're just going to... Ooh, bullets. Okay, do we have a grenade I can easily use here? Yes, I do. Little grenade. Let's pop that right on there. You die now. Let's try that again. You die now. There we go. They're both dead. Perfect. Now there's just one to deal with. We can deal with that much easier. We are stunned still, which is not great. There is a weapon locker, which might have something good in it, but I'm not expecting too much from it yet. Get over there. Hack this guy up with our lightning blade. That makes him a lot easier to handle. There we go. Gives us a bit of extra bullets. And what is in the weapons locker? Please be something nice, given how much trouble we've gone through to get here. A normal spear. Really? Is that a, just a normal spear? It is. It's a spear. <laughs> I wonder how the spear works. I kind of want to take it, just to see what it does. Um, well then, I guess we could afford to bring it with us just for now to test it. If we eat all of something, we should be able to get it into our inventory pretty easily. <sighs> no more hive or cheese, though, so we can't make any more sauce, which is. Um, what can we do here to get rid of space? How much food do we need? Not enough to eat an entire stack of Sulforce rations, I don't think. Um, we could just drop this bacon. Yeah. Since we can't make it into the bacon, it's not super valuable to us. Let's grab the spear and see what this thing does. So the spear is an 8 damage, 35 penetration, 25 accuracy weapon. Compared that to this, significantly worse than the lightning spear. This has no reload time. Is it a thrown weapon? A long polearm weapon useful for stabbing at longer distances. It looks like it's probably a two-reach stabbing weapon. Interesting. We'll hold on to that and we'll test it out. Actually, I'll equip it now. Let's see. If I just hit... Yeah. That's out of range. So anywhere in a two-space range, you can stab with the spear. Interesting. Huh. The spear skill actually has a purpose now. What do you know? Huh. You learn something new every day. Let's run over to the exit. We're going to recharge our health by resting. And then we might go down to another floor this episode. We'll have to check the time, obviously. I need to keep track of when we start these episodes. Because I think it's only been about 20 minutes. But we're going to rest up here. And then we will see what happens. There we go. And yeah, we totally have time for more stuff. Let's eat up some of these here bits of uh, rations. Like I just said I wouldn't. There we go. Eat a whole stack of them since we needed it after having all that resting. Well, we kind of wasted the last one. But that's okay, I think, in the long run. Let's get down to the next floor and see what's going on down there. Come on now, game. Down the floor, please. There we go. Interesting. We have a damaged console right here. Let's see if we can actually preserve that so that the uh, crazed Tarka test subject... Oh, that was the wrong weapon. Spear. I'm actually going to back up and try that again. Yeah, it works. It's not great, though. <laughs> not worth holding on to at this point. It's not powerful enough. It's an interesting weapon, though. I'm going to drop this. There we go. Not worth holding on to. Unfortunately, that opened the door as well. We probably could have handled that much better if we didn't let that happen. But that's okay. We're going to see if we can get this console up and running and see if we can find any lovely information inside. Yes, yes we can. Fantastic. We don't even need the digital assistance. We have 99% success rate anyway. And we get some data. Decrypt. 94% chance. Not bad, but I'll take it. System administrator, you may something a hybrid, but you're no Inchinac. I'll outwit and outmaneuver you in the end. You'll never reach the ape. Blah, 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 blah. 
Well, that message doesn't make any sense because of those words we're missing. <laughs> Whatever. We'll find out eventually what I was trying to say. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. Zoom back out again. That close zoom is interesting, but it's such a handicap. Brilliant as ever. You just can't see anything from that range. And more bullets coming our way. Thankfully, we can get out of the way of the chem pod this time, so we can hack these guys up without that being a problem. And there we go. They are dead. Fantastic. We're almost leveled up again as well, which is nice. Oh, hello, human. You don't get to live. I'm sorry. You can't live and then hit us with a grenade. Thank you very much. There we go. Now, there is potentially good stuff behind this Ada door, but I don't know if I want to go in there right away. There is another uh, library door here, which could be nice if it has any actual library resources in it. It doesn't appear to, that's fine, there's a mastermind over there, or an indoctrinator rather, but we can't necessarily use that since we have no engineering skill. So we're not going to worry about that, we're just going to hack up these hivers. Ooh, hiver brain crystals, that's actually quite nice, we can do some good stuff with those. Now, let's get over here and hack up those two wall crawlers together, that'll make it nice and easy for us. There we go, they're both dead. I want those hiver brain crystals, those are quite uncommon. There is also a console here, which is nice. Let's see if we can activate that. 99% chance of success tells me that yes, we can. There we go, we can finish this decryption, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Infranet message. Those wishing a treat should hold on to their rations of Malosian chocolate, hoff nuts, and dried fruits. Combining one of each together creates what Prisoner Bright Eyes calls trail mix. Or possibly trial mix. It's hard to say, as he quite mad and mumbles. We could potentially make trail mix if we can find dried fruit and Malosian chocolate, since we do have hoff nuts. But, for now, we'll just wait. That is not something that's readily available to us at the moment, since we don't have two of the three ingredients. Now, it sounds like there's a spider coming, and there is. So let's go kill him. He keeps trying to do some kind of magic red attack. I think it worked that time, because we took 46 damage after it finished. But a lot of the time, he was getting unlucky there, and his attack wasn't succeeding. Now, there is a door trap here. We're going to be very careful about and go around. We also did use up one of our Tarkin field surgery kits. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Taking the resistance. Do not feel like getting feared in an area of the door trap. You will run straight through it, and it'll dissolve all your items. There we go. Kill him. There's a wolf attacking us in the back, but that's okay. I want to get rid of this guy who can stun us. And I want to also get rid of the uh, the crazed Tarka so that she couldn't accidentally destroy our medkit or our Tesseract while we wanted. Turn around. Wolf is here, I think. There he is. Now he's in the corner of the room. We can hack him some more. Our Psy Shield has worn off, but since he was just invisible, the odds of him being able to attack us again with any psychic abilities are pretty low. And there he goes. Okay. Resistance booster, I'm just going to immediately take that, because that'll give us a chance to reduce our next disease. Open the medical locker, what do we get in this one? We got some nanomeds. I like nanomeds, we'll take those. Can we access the storage with an 87% chance? Looks like yes. We succeeded, excellent. I'd love to grab this other healing kit, just so we have those extra heal charges if we need them. I'd also like to take the more food back out, because we kind of like having food. But the problem is, we have a lot of other things that are filling up our inventory as well. Hmm. I could probably afford to get rid of this rocket launcher and these rockets. They're not really that great. Uh, I don't know. They're good for clearing out large rooms. We can use grenades for that instead. I'm going to stick the rocket launcher and rockets in here for now, so we can take them out later if we want them. Resort our inventory. In that case, we can now take the med kit back and the food back. And that should be okay. I'll even take one more grenade to add to that stack. There we go. And that should be okay. We can always get those again later if we need them, and that'll give us more health and uh, versatility at the moment. There we go. Avoid that door trap. Thank you very much. And we'll go, I guess, left to right this time. Okay. Anything we can make in here interesting? We can make some more energy drinks. Those are always nice. Nice use of our resources. Since we don't need to make steroids, it's good to be able to just use these items up easily. There's a whole bunch more energy drinks. I think that actually takes up a new stack, doesn't it, by one. So we'll drink one of them, since we don't want to waste a stack on one energy drink. Can we get anything nice out of this locker? I'm hoping yes. And, ooh. Ooh, ooh, coding avatar. I think the coding avatar takes the same space. No, it doesn't. Oh, amazing. Amazing. These are two of my favorite items. The coding avatar is infinite bonuses to your computer skill. The phase gloves are infinite bonuses to your lockpick skill, and they're both on different arms. That is amazing. All right. Happy days. Can we get anything nice out of this? We could also make aggressive antibiotics, but I don't think we really need those because we still have five normal antibiotics. Uh, that's fine by now. Fine by me for now, rather. We should probably heal up a little bit, though, because we're getting quite low on health. Resting up all the time is a little bit frustrating, but it is the easiest way to get health back, and given how much food we have, it's super efficient. So we're going to do that before we explore any further here. We're just going to chill out by this uh, 
this engineering bay and we're going to rest. So I'll see you again when this resting is finished. They do not like letting us finish our restings. There we go. Murder this guy. He popped around the corner there, tried to interrupt us. Oh, 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 whoop, whoop. Hello, Protean. Well, I guess I'm glad I found him before we did anything else silly. Let's gun him down a little bit, and then we'll be able to move on after that. The Protean would also have given us a bad day. Now, we can, of course, always just take a base paste if we really need to be able to be protected from Protean attacks, but I'd rather not have to do that and just murder them outright, especially since we have the scatter gun, which does such a good job at it. It's an expensive way of doing the job, but it does it very well. There we go. Reload that. Takes up a whole bunch of ammunition, but that is a dead large Protean with very little effort required. We should also reload our assault rifle. There we go. And can I grab anything of value from here? I grab the giant mitochondrias. There we go. And back to resting. Thank you very much. Oh, nope. Never mind. <laughs> okay, we don't get to rest. We're going to fight. We're just going to clear out this room and go back to resting after that, I think. So... There's the robots. Ouch, ouch. Charge them and hack them up. Thankfully, these guys don't have any like area effect attacks. And we do have a level up if we really need help instantly. Which we might very soon. Since we're very low on health now. Ouch, look at that damage. Okay, we need to take a level up here to heal us. We're going to put our points back into brains again, because that'll give us faster level ups again. And we'll go, I guess, we're running out of bonus skill points, so this is going to be coming to the end here. Lockpick, electronics, mechanical, good, computer, not bad. Those are some nice level ups. Our computer is nicely leveled up now, though. That's super good. Okay. Um, decipher, as always, a nice three points in decipher. That's good. Foraging, there's two. That's not bad. Resistance, eh, Psy Armor ability is now available, that's nice. And I can't throw anything else, any other points in anything because we're out of points, which means we are now into the point of the game where we can only afford to level up very few things, which gets to be a bit of a problem, but we'll see how it goes. Let's hack up these robots here. Thankfully, they're coming together, which makes it even easier for us. There we go. And you are going to die soon, friend. There you go. All right, he dropped some servos. We'll take them for now, although we probably will drop them soon. Anything in this locker? Hopefully, yes. Uh, ooh, more adamantium resin, more living steel remnants. We don't really need the adamantium since we already have one, but that means we could potentially make adamantium claws and an adamantium blade. Ooh, we got into the computer too. Let's decrypt this message. 99% chance of success. Yeah! Alright, personal log. Further notes on psionic resistance. There are a number of defensive abilities which emerge from this discipline, including psionic shields and psionic armor, psionic invisibility, and the infamous reflection defense of the ancient Krell. Interesting. Okay. Let's get over here and hack this guy up. We now have Psy Armor, so I should really put that on our hotbar for the Psychic abilities. Psy Armor, what does it exactly do? It creates a defensive field around the body for a limited time. I honestly am not sure what that means. <laughs> I could have looked it up, but I haven't. So I'm not really sure what Psy Armor actually does. It's the same bubble effect that we've seen on some of the enemies before, but I don't know what, if it like just reduces damage or, or what it does. If it makes it harder to hit you with bullets or, or anything. I have no idea. So that's fine. Someone's shooting, though. I don't like that. I don't know where they are either. I'll try and activate this computer console and then we'll go from there. So, this one is not completely decrypted. Okay. Requisitioner 17 Beta. New Master Chef unit will establish something over the culinary aspect of the base by crushing the memory of the predecessor with the most amazing sandwich ever. Only genius. Only genius could take a hero soft switch and wrap it in four bacon strips. So, apparently, a bacon swim. Uh, <laughs> bacon strips, bacon strips, and bacon strips around a. Uh, Hero Soft Switch makes a magnificent sandwich. We'll have to find out about that later if we can ever make bacon. Since we don't have a purifier, we can't turn our uh, fat strips into bacon, which makes it a lot harder for us to actually succeed in that mission. There we go. Kill these guys. Ooh, Hyver Cheese. That's nice. How much is there? Probably one. Oh, inventory full. No, thank you. Throw that extra binding. I don't know why I keep picking those up. All right. Only one. Okay, that's fair. There is a radiation lab there, though, which is interesting. And, ooh, there's a lot of stuff here that could be bad. I haven't been in there yet, which could be a problem if it's full of robots. And we've been poisoned! Huzzah! Well, I'm going to take our chemical neutralizer and neutralize that poison, since we might as well. Boop! There we go. No more poison. And... Oh, hello! No, 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 no. That's not okay. Psy shield active. There we go. We can hack up the mind wolf now. He can't fear us, which is the important thing. There we go. You're dead. We come in here and try and kill the robots. There's an interesting looking weapons locker there. We might be able to get something good out of it. We'll have to wait for that. More lasers coming at us. Thankfully, these guys don't have the best accuracy up close. And I think this Psy armor might actually be giving us some pretty pretty reasonable armor. I think it actually just gives you an armor rating, which is kind of cool. I wonder what the armor rating of that is. Does it show up anywhere? 
Psy armor gives you plus six armor. Okay, not great, but it's definitely better than nothing. Interesting, okay. That's actually pretty useful for us, given that we have no armor right now. Cool. All right, well, can we get anything out of this medical locker? It is, in fact, a medical locker. That's surprising. I was kind of expecting it to be an adaptoid. It has health in it. Awesome. Nano meds are a great item. Recycling bin, can you give me anything useful? Probably not, but we'll try anyway. Frozen Nothing, yeah, that's right. All right, what about this weapons locker? You could be very quite nice. You have... Oh, rifle parts. Nothing fantastic. That's fine. We're going to leave those there. We don't need them. Not interested. All right, there's a cook. Okay, there's a cryoid in here. I'll say there's a cooker. Let's kill this guy off. Cool things down in here a little bit. Or rather warm things up, I guess, is more accurate. Hack at him. Our armor wore off, sadly, but that's okay. Alright. We could try and make another hero sauce switch. Might as well, without taking the uh, hit on our portable cooker. There we go. And that wore it out. Interesting. I think it's hilarious that the portable cooker is way more reliable than the uh, the actual cookers set up in the area. Because they only last for one or two uses, whereas the one you have lasts for like eight. And then you can recharge it and do it again. Our, oh, man, this hurts so bad. So bad. I should probably try and use something other than the lightning blade. I don't think you can stun that guy, really, because he doesn't move. But it worked in the long run. Ouch, though. I have to be very careful here. I'm probably going to run away and then try and heal. Because the last thing I want to do is get hit with a bunch of new enemies and then not be able to do anything about it. Wait for this guy, kill him off, and then we'll go and hide and heal up. Oh, this is what I mean. There's no peace here. You try and take a break for a couple seconds and get yourself back on track, and everyone comes to murder you. All right, gun them down at a distance here. I think is the best way to do it. I could try and use our uh, our scatter gun, but I have a feeling it's a little bit overkill here. There we go. You're dead, and there's another enemy behind us. Jeez, no rest for the wicked. We do have those emergency healings if we need them, but I'd rather not have to rely on them right now. There we go. Heal up. Reload. Time to go hide. We might not be able to finish. Uh, we should finish this floor. There's probably not a whole lot left. We're going to come around the corner here, hide in this room, and we're just going to rest up again, and I'll see you guys again in a second. Lots of resting, that's okay. Alright, back in action again. Let's go, let's go. We got robots to kill, no time to do it in. Apparently this guy was looking for us, but thankfully he had a hard time finding us way over there, so now he gets to die. If I can actually hit him, there we go. Okay, okay, where haven't we gone? I don't think we've gone in here yet, so I guess we clear this one out in order to do our whole left-to-right progression like we were planning. Clear out this room. What's in the radiated room? Oh, looks like it's just some Zool. It's not so bad. I was expecting some kind of protean variant, but I don't think there was any in here, which is nice. All right. I'm okay with this. Let's hack up these guys. Should only take two attacks. There we go. Awesome. Can we get anything nice from this locker? Hopefully, yes. Ooh, nano control modules. Yes, please. Those are nice items. Gives us that nice ability to repair damaged things. Even better. It's like a super version of the uh, electronic toolkit that we already have. Okay. Well, we got about probably one layer left, and one layer in a little bit, depending on what else is actually hiding around there. Murder off this hiver and see what we can get. I'm surprised we haven't found any nano wire though. That's kind of disappointing because nano wire is really nice. All right, hack up this guy. He's probably gonna TK fist us soon since we're lucky. We're, we got lucky. We're gonna activate our psi armor just because we might as well start using our psychic abilities since we have such a huge amount of psychic power, and now that we actually have some decent ones. We might as well take advantage of them. All right, we're berserk right now, so be very careful what we do. If I walk close to these machines, they will get instantly destroyed. Thankfully, having a melee weapon while Berserk is the best thing you can do, because with a melee weapon, you will not autom- There's a damaged interrogation pod. I can't repair it. That's weird. Um, but yeah. What I was trying to say was, uh, if you have a melee weapon, you won't automatically start attacking everything in the room, because you don't automatically walk while Berserk. You just automatically attack. So you can actually be pretty safe with that, so without uh, ruining the whole place you're in. As long as you don't accidentally forget and walk up close to stuff, because then you will hack it at close range, and when it probably explodes on you, it'll hurt. But otherwise, you should be fine. There we go. So let's hack up these guys. I like this lightning blade, though. Such a good weapon. Such a good weapon. All right. We got a gamma key. Don't need that. If it was an eta key or a zeta key, I would take it, because those doors are basically impossible to unlock manually. Uh, but just a... Oh, knocked unconscious. Apparently we attacked them while we were unconscious, though. We managed to get our sword attack out there just as we fell asleep, which is kind of fun. There we go. You're dead. And we got logic circuits out of it. What's in this weapons room? Robots, surprisingly enough. All right. Let's hack the robots apart. Give them stunning effects. Now they can't do too much to us. And they're both dead. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Is this actually a medical locker? It is. Is that actually an armor locker? Probably not. This between two other things. It is not. Actually, I'm just going to attack it with the lightning blade. Bam! Huge damage. Unfortunately, our lightning blade is taking hits here, so we got to be careful with that. We'll use our sharpening kit on it in a second. There we go. 
sharpening kit on the nano blade. <laughs> nano blade. The lightning blade. There we go. Now we're back in business. Okay. Okay. Looking pretty good here, actually, I have to say. Looking pretty solid. I think we're going to finish up this top door, and then we should be good to look elsewhere. Oh, come back here, you. More enemies to fight. Always more enemies to fight. There we go. Lightning Blade's taking damage. And another potentially fake armor locker. Please be a real one, and please have armor in you. That would be the best thing. You're a fake one. Lightning Blade. And hit him again. He's dead. And more adamantium resin. Is this stacking in the same stack? Yeah, you have three of them in that stack now. But come on, game! I really, really need armor. And all you're giving me is these stinking uh, adaptoid armor pods. Alright. Let's hack him up with our lightning blade. He's dead. Excellent. Don't need the pineal gland. I do need to kill this doctor because he'll probably have some more uh, nanomeds on him. Nope. No such luck. That's fine. But yeah, we're getting unlucky here. Seriously. It sounded like there was... Oh, there's a bear. Okay. Power up our Psy Armor again just to get that experience on it. And do we want to just punch him in the face? Probably not because these guys hurt pretty bad. Let's back up and use the auto pistol on him. We still have a pretty decent amount of auto pistol arm ammo. Shouldn't be too inefficient for us. There we go. The, one of the interesting things also about those biome floors is that I have yet to see where they reconnect. I We saw that it turns into a, two floors there. And you can go down either one, but I've never actually seen the uh, biome floor split off, reconnect to the main floors. Like, there's nowhere we could go up into biome floors that I've seen, which is kind of interesting. But then maybe we'll find one later on, but I have yet to do it. Let's hack up these robots. There we go. Okay. Looks like the exit must be in one of these last two rooms, which is quite nice. It's always fun when the, uh, the last place you look is the last place you need to look. Hopefully there's nothing terrible in over here, though. Oh, no, nothing terrible. Just a clone worker, or perfected clone, rather. We can hack him up without too much trouble, especially because we have that nice stunning effect. Bleeding health. And he should go down that attack. There we go. Got a welding goo. Please give me something nice. I really could use some nano wire. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying here. Game doesn't want to work with me, though. Okay. One last room. Oh, hello. You're the upgraded Siren Ball. You heal yourself, but not fast enough. Alright, anything in the cage room? No, we've already actually been in here, haven't we? Can't... Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, we've been everywhere. Fantastic. It was actually in the last room we had to look in. Awesome. Well, I'm going to rest up here, but this is where we're going to be ending this episode for now. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more Sword of the Stars, the pit mind games here for you. If you have enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a like on the episode and a comment. Let me know what you thought about it, because I always like reading them. It's very enjoyable for me to hear what you guys have to say. Either way, thank you again very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.